Let's go ahead and start in Virasana or just an easy seated pose, whatever works for you. And guys, always know that um, if neither of those options work for you, you can always lay down during the first initial sequence. If we're doing Virasana and you need a block or some support, take your block, um, take the block in between your ankle bones and then sit up on your shins and try to bring your knees together as much as you can and then sit back onto your block and try to squeeze the block with your ankle bones. If this is stressful for your knees, take another block or you could layer a blanket on top of that. And so you're sitting up a little bit taller. I actually think I'm gonna stay here today. This feels pretty good. So this is gonna help me squeeze the, the block between my ankle bones and then push down into your shins, right? So if you're in Virasana, make your legs strong so you can feel as you push down, you lift up a little bit. If you're sitting in Sukhasana, go ahead and press your sits bones down into the earth and press whatever is touching your mat, like push that down and you'll feel a little lift. And then bring the corset image in so you're drawing your belly button in so that you're supported. Right? And lift the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Take your hands on top of your lap. And if you're lying down, just let yourself be really heavy and melt into it. Take a couple of breaths in and out of your nose. Allowing yourself to arrive on your mat. get ready for the work that we're about to do. And just follow your breath right, with your attention. And then notice as you breathe in and out how your body responds. Breathe in, there's a slight lifting up of the torso and then emphasize that. Press down into your shins and lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, slump back down. And feel that rise and fall of the body as you breathe in and out. Inhale, feel that lift, emphasize it. Press down into your shins, lift through the crown of your head. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, lift up, press down your shins, push your sits bones into your block of the floor. Exhale, let it go. And if you're on your back laying down, when you feel that inhale and the lift, try to see your whole body floating up. And as you exhale, your whole body just floating down. So everything we, can, we do can be modified. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. And allow yourself the freedom to know that you can change the practice. Do two more like that. Inhale, press down into your shins, lift up. Exhale, settle back down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, settle in. And then drop your head. So you're bowing your head to your heart. Bring your hands to your heart center. Press down into your shins and sit up nice and tall on your spine. And then slowly blink open your eyes, gazing through your fingertips to the floor. And as you inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Exhale, hands to your heart. 
If you're lying down, you can do this too. Sweep your arms out and up. Exhale, hands to your heart. If you are laying down, now's the time to sit back up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. One more time, reach out and up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Good, sitting up nice and tall. Take a twist to your right, nice and easy. Take your right hand to your lower back. Your left hand goes to the outside of your right thigh. And just sit up nice and tall. As you exhale, draw your belly button in. Bring that corset image in so you're supporting your torso. See if you can twist a little bit more. Inhale, bring yourself to center. And then exhale, kind of let it all go. Feel how you just sink down into yourself. Press down into your shins. Draw the belly in, sit up tall. And then twist to your left. Take your left hand to your lower back, right hand to the outside of your left thigh. Now stay pressing down into your shins. Don't let go of that. When you inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, draw your belly button in. Pull that corset in and twist a little bit more. One more breath here. And exhale. and then come to center. So we, before we move on, I just wanna talk about all this, right, that corset image. So we have, you know, everybody thinks about the six pack abs, right? So this is rectus um, abdominis, right? Keeping us upright. But we also have the obliques, right? Which kind of angle in, right? There's a couple different angles here happening. There's a couple different obliques. Um, and those wrap and help us twist and help keep us you know, upright. So we're gonna work those a lot today. Let's come on to our hands and knees. Take your hands about shoulder width apart, your knees are hips distance apart. And then just go ahead into a few cat cows. As you inhale, pull your chest forward, lift your sits bones. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, pull your chest forward, lift your sits bones. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. One more, inhale, and exhale. Good, and then just come to neutral, and just register how um, that round of cat-cow felt in your body. And now I want you to power it up a little bit more. So spread your fingers really wide on your mat, and your index finger points at 12 o'clock. Push down into your shins. Right, so you want to feel that connection to the ground. And then draw your belly button in and up and think about the corset. You want to pull everything in to get longer through the spine. Okay, so now that you're set, your shins are pressing in, the tops of your feet are pressing in. If you need to, curl your toes under, but keep pushing them down. And then do your cat-cow. Inhale, pull the chest forward, lift your sits bones. Keep that corset image going. Exhale, round your spine for cow. I'm sorry, for cat. Inhale, pull the chest forward, lift your sits bones, cat pose. Exhale, round your spine, cow pose. Keep yourself supported. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. And then come to a neutral spine, but keep your belly button drawn in and that corset pulled tight. Take your right foot back. And then take it down. Keep that corset image, you're nice and solid here in your core. Take the left leg back. And then take it down. One more time on each side. Keep yourself drawn in here. Take the right foot back. So you're supporting the weight of your leg. Take it down. Keep that corset. Take the left leg back. Inhale. Exhale. Now let everything just be floppy, all right? Ugh, relax everything. And then take your right leg back. And just notice how it feels. Don't flex your foot. Just notice it kind of feels weighty, right? Take the left leg back without contracting anything in. 
You might go a little faster, right? Because you're not having to work against your corset. But draw everything back in again. Fire up your legs, even, and then take that leg back. Feels more powerful. Flex your right foot. Squeeze the leg muscles. A little bit more weightless. Go to the other side. Squeeze in the belly. The corset, take the left leg back, flex your foot, squeeze your leg, and then take it down. Now, keep the corset going. Take the right leg back, left hand forward. Exhale, take it down. Going slower. Inhale, take the left foot back, right hand forward. Exhale, take it down. Two more times each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, nice and slow. Keep your corset drawn in. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Keep your belly drawn in and then come into child's pose. Take your forehead down. Nice and slow. Let your back stretch out. If you need to, you can bring the knees a little bit closer together if that feels more comfortable for you. Support yourself with a block underneath your forehead or a blanket. You can take this and put it underneath your chest. Do what you need to do. And let your body weight settle into the floor. Now pull your belly in and up, draw that corset in. So think about wrapping around your ribs, look up towards your hands, and then walk your hands over to the left side of the room. Pull your chest forward, keep yourself drawn in, and then let your head drop back down to the floor. Nice side body stretch here. Inhale, come to center. Keep the belly in, corset drawn, exhale, take it over to the right. Let your head drop. And then walk your hands back to center. Inhale, come up, keep your toes together, knees apart. Exhale, sink back. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, back into child's pose. Inhale, come up. Now draw the belly in, keep yourself, your torso nice and tight, and then leg muscles getting into the gain here. And then exhale, go back. Keep that going. Inhale, come up. Shift forward a little bit so now your shoulders are over your wrist. Bend your elbows. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, go back. So this is a child's pose push-up series. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, straighten the elbows. Exhale, go back. Now keep your belly drawn in and up the whole time. Just keep going. We're going to keep going until I say stop. Go back. And then as you're transitioning from pose to pose, just notice Kind of let go of your belly, let go of that corset image, let your legs relax and just notice how different the series feels if you're just letting all of your muscles go versus squeezing your leg muscles in towards the bone, drawing your belly in and up, Bringing that corset image so you're trying to squeeze your lower ribs in towards one another. And so these guys right here, you're trying to draw them in with that corset. Good. All right. Makes the work a little different. Good. Let's do one more. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, straighten the elbows. Exhale, sink it all the way back into child's pose, your version of child's pose. Take one breath in and one breath out. 
Now let's come back up onto our hands and knees. And take your right arm out to the side. Pull the belly in, get your corset going, and then thread your right arm underneath the left. So here we're gonna come on our right shoulder, the right side of the head. And support yourself with your left hand. Push that into the floor and squeeze your shoulder blades down towards your hips. Now take your left foot back behind you. So leg is straight, your knee is off the floor, and your left toes are on the floor. Squeeze your left leg muscles. Pull your belly button in toward your spine. Push down into your right shin and lift your left leg up. Good, now notice if you let the leg go floppy and you let all of your muscles relax, ugh, your leg just wants to come down to the floor. So push down into the floor, whatever's touching the floor, you push down, lift your left leg, squeeze your belly knee, pull that corset in, and then come up onto your, and your fingertips on your left hand. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Maybe lift your left arm up, and it's okay if you fall over. It's not that far to go. Breathe it. And exhale, Ooh, take it down. I almost fell on my way down. Good, <laughs> come back to hands and knees. All right, so your transition in that, when you tighten your core during the transition, it's gonna help you not to fall over. I noticed when I started to bring my left leg back down, I wasn't engaging my core as much. I wasn't having this like ugh, corset image in my brain and I started to really wobble. Pulled it back. Sometimes I can knock you out, <laughs> but it did this time. All right, come back. We'll get another side to do. So hands shoulder width apart here. Set yourself up. Draw the belly in. Take the left arm out to the side. Thread it underneath the right. So here, landing on your left shoulder, left side of your head. Press down into the shoulder and the back of your left hand. Draw your belly in. Push into your right palm and squeeze your shoulder blades down your back. Now take your right leg back behind you. Draw your belly button in. Pull that corset image in. And then push down into your left shin so you're nice and solid. So everything that's touching the floor, you are pressing down with all your might. And then lift your right leg up. You can flex your foot or point your toes, whichever feels more powerful for you. Keep your belly drawn in, and then maybe come up onto the fingertips of your right hand. All right, arms are solid, so squeeze your shoulder blades down your back. Squeeze your right leg, and then lift your right arm up. Keep your corset drawn in. Lower ribs pull in towards one another. Good, hold it here for three, two, one. Take your right hand down, and then the right foot comes down. <sighs> Child's pose, good work. So that's a, a pose, I don't even know what it's called, that will test your core strength. All right guys. Let's come to a seated position. Kind of stretch out all that that we've done. Flex your feet here, sit up nice and tall, and just do some torso rolls. And after doing that work, I like to give your muscles a break, give a little stretch after the strengthening, go in the opposite direction. One more big circle with the torso, and then come up. Take your left hand down, right arm up and over. Take a side body stretch. Inhale, come up, both arms up. Exhale, take your right hand down, left arm up and over. Nice big lean over to your right side. Inhale, come up, both arms up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up and over. Inhale up, exhale, right hand down, left arm up and over. Good, one more time, side to side, just flow. Good, 
then come up. Take both arms up, reach up. Think about somebody taking you by the wrist and lifting you up. And then as you exhale, turn to your right and twist. Take your arms down. Sit up nice and tall. All right, don't let yourself collapse in the torso. You want to lift up in the torso. Think about a straight line from your ear to the shoulder to your hips. Inhale, come to center, reach up. Lift, lift, lift. Exhale, turn to your left. Arms are still up. And then exhale, take your hands down. So if I'm sitting up nice and tall on my spine, I'm lifting the crown of my head, and I've got the corset, like all those things, my ear is pretty much in line with my shoulder, with my hips. But if I slump, that's not happening. Ear is here, shoulders back here, hips are back here. Sit up tall. And every exhale, draw your belly button in. See if you can twist a little bit more. We'll go one more time side to side. Inhale, reach your arms up, pull in the corset. Exhale, twist to your right. Stay tall. Inhale, come to center, reach up. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, come up to center, reach up, draw your belly in, take your hands down, keep the belly drawn in as you rock forward, coming onto your hands and knees. Keep all of your torso muscles drawing in. Now curl your toes under and lift your knees up off the floor, just a couple inches. Pull your belly in and up. Draw your shoulder blades down. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Take your knees down. Just sit back a little bit. We're not going into full child's pose. My toes are curled under. Come back up onto your hands and knees, and then draw the knees up away from the floor a couple inches. Pull the belly in. Draw that corset tight. Now straighten your legs, and then push your chest back towards your thighs. Keep your heels lifting up off the floor. Keep your belly drawn in, and then a big exhale. Take your heels down towards the floor. They don't have to touch. It's actually, I'd rather you have a little space in your downward facing dog for your heels to stretch down so that you're stretching out your leg muscles. Unless you're like uber flexible and it's not a problem for your heels to touch the floor. All right, so really just modify for your own body. Breathe in. Breathe out, draw your belly button in. Inhale, slide into a high plank. I'm gonna take my hands a little bit more forward. Draw your belly in, pull everything in. Take a big breath in through your nose. And then as you exhale, draw the belly in, pull that corset, bring yourself into a downward facing dog. Now inhale, slide forward. Now just let your body be a little bit more relaxed. And then without trying to pull your belly in, Bring yourself into a downward facing dog. Come back out into a high plank. Draw your belly in, fire up your legs, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward and walk your feet to your hands. So did you notice when you were engaging the belly, engaging the legs, pulling yourself into downward facing dog, there was less pressure on your arms and your wrists? If not, we're gonna do a couple more um, Transition so you'll be able to feel it. Come into a forward fold here. Grab opposite elbows. Let your head drop. You could sway from side to side. And then let your hands drop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. So now we'll start to focus a little bit more in our core as we flow into um, a traditional sun A's where the, we have our knee down, okay? So let's just do a couple side to side. So come to the front of your mat. 
Don't focus on anything, just move. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take your right foot back and your right knee down. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, take your hands down. Take your left foot back, high plank. Knees can come down, low plank. You come all the way down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out, look forward. Step your right foot forward, left knee down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take your hands down. Curl your back toes under, lift your left knee. Step forward and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Notice, we're gonna do that again on the other side, how much you rely on your upper body for this movement. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, left foot back, left knee down. Rise, reach up. Exhale, hands down, high plank. And then you can shift forward, knees can come down, low plank. You can come all the way down to your belly. Cobra or upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Left foot forward. Right knee down, lunge, reach up. Exhale, hands down. Curl the back toes under, lift your right knee, step forward and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Now, we're gonna do that series again, but this time, I want you to concentrate on belly drawing in and up. Corset wrapping tightly so these lower ribs are being pulled in. And then get your legs involved. So part of our core, you guys, is our legs and our back. It's not just here, right, what we can see. It's everything else. It's our glutes. It's our legs. It's our hamstrings, back muscles, everything, right, from about here to here, right, all the way around 360. So keep everything drawn in. Think about your muscles of your legs, especially your upper legs. They're drawing into the bone. And keep the belly drawn in so your tailbone's dropping. Okay, ready? Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, really draw that corset in. Take your right leg back, nice and strong. Take your right knee down. Inhale, reach up, squeeze your legs in, squeeze your whole torso. Exhale, hands down, squeeze, squeeze. Take the left foot back, high plank. Shift forward on the toes, low plank. Cobra or upward facing dog, squeeze everything in, especially your legs here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, breath out, re-engage your core, and then take your right foot forward, left knee down. Inhale, reach up, squeeze in the belly, squeeze the legs. Exhale, hands down, curl the back toes under, lift your knee, step forward powerfully and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, keep that the lower ribs knitted in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Did you feel the difference? Let's do it again. We're gonna go left, left, left leg first now. Inhale, reach up. Legs are strong. Exhale, fold. Corset's pulled in. Inhale, halfway lift. Draw the lower ribs in. Exhale, take your left foot back. Left knee down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down, keep everything engaged, legs are strong, shift forward, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, squeeze your legs. Exhale, downward facing dog, pull from your belly. Breathe in, breathe out, look forward, step forward, and fold. Whew. Take your feet about hips distance apart. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers and fold here. Elbows will come out. Keep your legs nice and strong and your belly even pulling in here. If you can keep your belly pulled in and that corset pulled tight, it's going to help you to fold a little bit more. So stay in your forward fold. And take a drink of water. Okay. 
So inhale, take a halfway lift, draw your belly in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press into your feet, your heels rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good work. I know you did good work. I can't see you, but I know you did it. All right, so I mentioned the weight in your hands. So we use our upper body a lot in some of these transitions. That's our, you know, the tendency. That's what I've, you know, seen in classes, teaching, I don't know, since like 2011, almost 10 years, whoa. Um, so we're gonna do that series again, but you're not allowed to put your hands on the floor. No, no, no. We wanna use the power of our legs, the power of our core. And as you flow, even though your hands aren't gonna be down on the floor, I want you to pull your upper arm bones back and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Right, so we're just one solid mass of movement here. So you're ready? If you need blocks, right, to stable you, if you need a little, like a little hand tap every now and again, that's okay. But try your best not to put your hands down on the floor. Inhale, reach your arms up. Draw that corset in. Exhale, fold forward. Bring your hands to your shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Now here's where you choose. Do you keep your hands floating? Maybe hands to your hips. Goal post, find something that's powerful for you. I'm just gonna lightly rest my hands on my legs and squeeze my legs. Take your right foot back. Shift your hips back. Take your right toes down. Take the right knee down. Good, arms up. Now we're not gonna do the cobra transition because it's kind of impossible to do <laughs> a high to low plank without your hands. All right, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Let's try that. Curl your back toes under, lift your right knee. Squeeze everything in, lean forward with your torso, bring that right leg forward powerfully and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Try not to touch the floor. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Other side, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Find where you're gonna place your hands. Maybe it's at the heart center, right? That worked well on the, the way forward. Let's try it on the way back. Draw the belly in, take your left foot back. Corsets pulled in, leg is strong. Bend your right knee, take your left toes down, bring your knee down, arms up. Good, bring your hands to your heart center. Curl the left toes under. Lift your left knee, draw everything in. Corset, lifting up here in the torso. Shift forward, bring the left foot back powerfully and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Hands to your heart. Okay, we're gonna do that now with our left leg leading. Same thing, hands aren't coming down on the floor. We're just gonna shift leg to leg. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, draw the belly in. Take the left leg back, nice and powerful. Bend your right knee, bring the left toes down softly, lift. All right, so the key to all this is softness, right? How softly can you land? The more you engage your core, right, which is from here down to our legs, the more softly you can land. More softly, sounds right. All right, hands to your heart center. Curl your toes under, lift your knee. Powerfully bring that right leg forward. Soft and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach up. Hands to your heart. Exhale it out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take your right leg back. Stretch it back. Pull the belly in, pull the corset in. Bend your left knee, softly land your right toes, softly land your right knee. Inhale, reach your arms up, nice big stretch here. Exhale, hands to your heart, curl the back toes under, lift your right knee, draw everything in. Big, powerful step forward with the right foot, but soft, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good. So, power can be soft, right? 
the more we engage our core, the softer we can land. Whew. So I did my garden yesterday. I planted all my vegetables. <laughs> my lower back and my legs are like, wow, really? Two days in a row you're going to torture us? Mm. So I have a lot of shaking going on, which is good. I am retraining my body. Right. So let's take a little bit of a, a little break and we'll come into some balancing poses. Let's first just do a tree pose. So take your right foot, you can take it into the shin. Toes could be on the floor here, or you can take it all the way into the thigh. Now here, push these two together. You see, I almost knocked myself over. Push the two together. Make sure you're pressing with equal strength. Draw your belly in, draw the corset in, and reach your arms up. Keep your lower ribs drawing in and that pressure with the foot and the leg nice and steady so that your tree pose becomes very fluid. Right? I know we're pushing together and we're drawing the belly in, but if I'm holding everything in, like I can move pretty well. My left knee is slightly bent, just a little tiny micro bend, I'm pushing down into the floor, right? So I can do all these whoo -hoo, crazy movements, I'm not falling over. And then drawn in through the core, that's my stability. Take a big breath in, exhale, bring your hands to your heart center, right knee comes forward, and take it down. Good, shake it out. Go to the other side. Press down into your right foot. Little micro bend in the right knee. Here are your three positions. Left toes on the floor, left foot to your shin, or left foot to your thigh. Push those two together. Draw your belly in, cinch your corset, sit up tall, arms up. Remember, we're drawing everything in. Think about pulling all of your muscles into the midline of your body, your spine, right? That's the most central part of your body is your spine. Reach up. Move around, like test out your balance. Hold your knee, right? You get a little crazy with it. You're good, just keep everything pulled in. Tailbone dropping. Little micro bend in your right knee. The foot and the leg are pushing strongly together, equal strength. Come back to stillness if you've been moving. And then take your hands down, left knee forward. Good, and shake it out. Now come to the front of your mat. So we went into our low lunges um, without using our hands. So we're gonna come into like a high lunge without using our hands too, and we'll add on a couple things. So you thought doing core, we were doing a lot of sit-ups, right? Things like that maybe, maybe that was where you're headed. But nope. We're gonna support ourselves in our transition of movement. So draw your belly in, push into your feet. Bring your right knee forward. Keep all this pulled in. And then as you pull in your lower ribs, shift your right foot back, extending it back into airplane pose. Keep your core so that your legs are strong. Everything is pulling in. Now bend your left knee. Slowly shift your hips back. Take your right toes down nice and soft. Come into crescent lunge. So both legs are pulling in and up. Lift your heart. Maybe go back a little. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Breathe in. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Keep your spine nice and long. Draw the belly and the torso in. Come into a twist. Hook your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Keep the corset drawn in. Open your arms. Exhale, hands back together. Come back, hands to your heart center. Reach your arms up again. You're keeping your corset drawn in as you move. Exhale, hands to your heart. Twist to your right. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and open your chest to the left side of the room. Open your arms. Exhale, hands to your heart. Come back to center. Reach your arms up. 
shift your weight forward, so the torso is about parallel to the floor, reach your hands forward, draw your belly in, legs are strong, shift back into airplane pose, and then come to standing, <laughs> shake it out. So your legs got a lot of work there, the more we can pull in in our torso, the lighter we can be moving, like the softer we can land, right? This power that we create with this drawing in allows us to be soft. Other side. Lift your right knee up. Push down into your right foot. And then shift. Draw in your corset. Take your left leg back. Airplane pose. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. You forgot about that. Or maybe... I forgot about it. <laughs> All right, now bend your right knee. Keep reaching the left foot back. Take your left toes down nice and soft. Reach your arms up for crescent lunge. Squeeze your leg muscles in and up. Maybe go back. All right, so you're drawing and draw the belly in. Corset is pulled in, so your lower ribs are knitting in towards one another. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Keep wrapping in and lifting your spine. Twist to your right. Hook your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Reset everything if it's gone out of whack. And then open your arms. Take your hands back together. Crescent lunge. Hands here at your heart center to start. Reset. Reach the arms up. Maybe go back. Legs are strong. Squeeze your belly in. Bring your hands to your heart center. Keep pulling your lower ribs in. Draw the belly in as you hook your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Open your arms. Exhale, hands back together. Hands to your heart. Do one more lift up and back. And then reach forward. Torso's parallel to the floor. Launch off your back foot. Bring your left knee forward. Shake it out. Yeah. That leg is like, why? Why would you do this to me? <laughs> All right, guys. Back to the front of your mat. Almost time to cool down. Shake it out here. And just stand here with your feet, hips distance apart. Powerful. Draw the belly in. Arms forward, or palms forward. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your nose. Breathe in through the nose. And breathe out through your nose. Inhale, reach your arms up. Keep your whole core engaged. Exhale, fold forward. So you're supporting all of your weight. Your lower back is so happy. Inhale, reach your chest forward. Now, keep all of this pulling in. Legs are squeezing in. Take your hands down, feet back, high plank. Keep your tush low. So if your tush is up like this, in a high plank, you're not really engaging your muscles. Not all of them anyway. You're putting more pressure in your arms. Now squeeze your leg muscles, draw your belly in, let your hips drop a little, pull your chest forward. Now bring your feet together, so big toes are touching. This is our last big core exercise. Lift your right leg up, draw the belly in, wrap that corset around, flex your right foot, take the right foot down, take the left leg up, squeeze it in, squeeze your legs, Pull your chest forward, get long here in the whole body. Take it down. Now take your right leg up. Maybe lean a little bit more weight over to your right side. Take your left hand forward, drop your hips. Ooh, good, take it down. <laughs> okay, set yourself back. Left leg up, squeeze. Maybe lean a little bit more over to your left. Take your right hand forward. Good, and take it down. <sighs> That'll give you some information, right? <laughs> About which leg is stronger, which arm is stronger. 
<sighs> so good work. Come to a seated position. Take your feet out in front of you. And then as you inhale, reach your arms up, get long through the side waist. Exhale, just bring your hands on your shins, maybe your thighs. I want you to keep a nice tall spine as you slowly fold over your legs. So we're not grabbing our toes and yanking ourselves forward. Be really soft. And if your hands on your thigh, you're still not being soft, take your hands out to the side. So when you inhale, let the whole torso lift. Let your collarbones lift. Keep that lift. Exhale, just draw the belly in. I think this way your core is doing the work to bring you into a forward fold and you're supporting your lower back, you're supporting your hips. So if you do have some lower back issues, I um, strongly encourage you to let go of this and invite you to do this. All right, nice and soft. Let your lower back be supported as you fold. Let your body tell you how far is okay. If we grab our feet and yank, we're gonna miss some of that communication from our body and we might overstretch. And then, you know, maybe our back, our lower back won't like it and it'll speak to us later. Right? Keep your belly in, lower ribs knitting in. Inhale, rise all the way up, lean back, and then bring the soles of your feet together. Notice I didn't put my hands on the floor, nor did I pull my legs. Just rest your hands at your ankles, inhale, Sit up nice and tall, maybe more of a, like a cow action, lifting the collarbones. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, go back. Inhale, lift all the way up. And then exhale, shift your torso forward. You're still keeping your collarbones lifted. Your elbows can come into your thigh to help stretch through your hips. Good. And now come all the way up, bring the knees together. Let's come down onto our backs. And if you have a block, bring it with you. Now, if you have a block, take the block between your knees. We'll go into a bridge pose from here, but I want you to squeeze the block. I'm actually gonna take that on the middle width. And then lift your hips here. Squeeze the block, if you have it with your knees. If not, you're pressing your feet down into the floor and just squeeze your leg muscles in towards the bones. Lift your hips a little bit higher. And then if you can, interlace your fingers underneath you. You wanna walk your shoulder blades together so that the upper arm bones come closer together underneath you, giving you a shelf. All right, your chest is on the shelf and then you can lift your hips a little bit higher. If you've got that block, squeeze it. Good, stay here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If your fingers are interlaced, slowly release them. Slowly bring your spine down to the floor, one vertebrae at a time, starting at the top of your spine, come all the way down to your tailbone. Take the block aside, bring the soles of your feet together, knees wide. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. 
Take a deep breath in through your nose. And then exhale it all out. And let your body just drop. Come out of all the doing. And just be. Take your feet forward. Take a full body stretch here. Reach your arms back behind you. Press your feet forward. Exhale, hug your right knee into your chest. So even here, draw your lower ribs in. Belly button pulls in. And then twist. Take your right shin over to the left side of the room. Reach your right arm out to the right side of the room. Maybe your gaze turns over. your breath. Good. One more breath in. Long breath out. And then inhale, come out, take a full body stretch. Press your heels forward. Arms reach back long. Exhale, hug your left knee into your chest. Draw your lower ribs in towards one another. Pull your belly button in. And then twist. Left shin heads over to the right side of the room. Left arm reaches out to the left. Maybe your gaze turns over your left shoulder. And let your breath settle down. Feel that stretch in your hips. One more breath. Inhale, come out, full body stretch. Exhale, hug both of your knees into your chest. And then rock from side to side. Give yourself a little massage on the back. Take your knees, make circles, rolling around. Going the opposite direction. Take your feet down to the floor, knees up, and just do a couple windshield wipers back and forth. time side to side. Bring your knees up to center. Extend your feet forward. Arms by your side, palms up. And then let everything go. Coming into Shavasana, your final resting pose. And let yourself stay here. Embrace the stillness. Embrace the softness, right? So softness can equal power. And this is how you really support your practice. You let it settle into your body through being still.
now slowly begin to deepen your breath. Big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, sigh it out. One more time, inhale through your nose. Sigh it out. And then wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bring your feet to the floor, knees up. Make sure you're drawing your belly in so you're supporting that transition. And roll to your side. Take a breath here. And then bring yourself up to a seated position. Draw your lower ribs in as you move. Come to a seated and sit up nice and tall. Bring your right hand over your heart and your left hand over the right. Bow your head. Thank you for sharing your practice today. We'll seal our class with a chant of one ohm. Inhale. Oh. Namaste. Thank you.